In this video, I'm going to show you how to add virtual instruments to a Pro Tools session so that you can compose your own music with a MIDI keyboard. Here it is. So I'm going to go in Pro Tools to the Track menu and choose New Track. Alternatively, I can press Shift Command N, which is usually how I do it, and I'll do that now. Shift Command N, and the New Tracks dialog box pops up. Let's check it out. Tracks can be mono or stereo usually. Now I have the ultimate version of Pro Tools and so I have all of these other choices. We're going to stick to mono instruments for the moment. Um, you cannot put a virtual instrument on an audio track. And as a matter of fact, if you're sitting at home watching this video, I want you to please say that with me. You cannot put an instrument on an audio track. Everybody say it one more time. You cannot put a virtual instrument on an audio track. You need to put them for now on an instrument track. An instrument track is a unique track to Pro Tools. It's a hybrid between a MIDI track and an audio track. Um, leave ticks alone. It's fine. The other choice is samples, but you want ticks. I mean, you don't really want ticks, but here you want ticks. And then you can name your track here, and I'm going to name this uh, Organ, because I'm going to put an organ on it, and choose Create. Here you go. It's named. Notice that it has no input. This is an audio input. It does not need an input, because it's going to have a MIDI input, and we'll get into that more at, more advanced, at a more advanced level later. Um, again, if you cannot see your inserts, you're going to need to. So go here to the Edit Window View Selector and check off Inserts if you cannot see them, and then you will be able to see them. Uh, I'm also going to check off the Instrument box so you can see our MIDI input and output. Um, it's kind of a weird name, Instrument Track, Instrument Box, but this is your MIDI routing. Right now, it's receiving signals from any, any MIDI instrument. And uh, if I hook up a MIDI keyboard, you'll see the signal bouncing up and down here. But it's not outputting through any MIDI instrument, and that's what uh, we're going to do next. So I'm going to go to my Inserts and click on a blank insert, go to Plugin, and go down to Instrument. I have a bunch of instruments. You probably don't have that many. That's OK. We're going to get the virtual organ, the DB33, and it loads pretty quick. A word of warning, sometimes the first time you load a virtual instrument, it'll come up all grayed out and say, do you want to load the factory content? This happens with some of the other virtual instruments like Boom and Expand that we'll look at in a later video. Uh, if that happens, just click the Browse button navigate to the folder with the same name. It'll pop right up. You'll see it. And just hit choose and it'll be fine. But DB33 has loaded properly, so we're good to go. If I click on these keys, you'll uh, hear that there's sound and you can see the audio meter jumping. But notice right here, there's no MIDI going through. And Pro Tools is kind of a weird program. If you are used to using FL or Logic or Ableton or really almost any other DAW, um, you can click stuff on screen to input notes, or you can use your typing keyboard as a musical keyboard, and you just can't do that in Pro Tools. I don't know why, that's just the thing. Uh, luckily, I have a MIDI keyboard hooked up to this, uh, and so I can input notes. Now, if I press, I'm pressing my keyboard keys, nothing's happening. Because you must, 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 must press the record arm button in order for your MIDI keyboard to work. And then all of a sudden, you'll see the MIDI meter jump. And you'll see the audio meter jump. All right, there you go. So now we have sound, we have created an instrument track, we've revealed our inserts, and we've put an instrument on there. Here's a very common mistake beginners make. I don't want the organ, I want something else. I'm going to put a different instrument on. I want to put vacuum on. It's a monophonic synthesizer. Now, it won't do anything. 
because it Pro Tools doesn't know which instrument you want. It's slated to go through DB33, but it can't because vacuum's in the way. So make sure you only have one instrument at a time on an instrument track. Everybody should say that too. One instrument at a time on an instrument track. Now, I want to record. If I'm really smart about this, I want to record to some kind of click. So let's go up to the track menu all the way at the bottom, create click track. There is no shortcut and I don't know why. Here's the click and then we need to set our session tempo. Uh, 120 beats kind of fast for me to play, not being a keyboard player. So I'm going to make sure my counters at the beginning, click the little plus right there and change it to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to 85 beats or clicks per minute. And then if I press play, I can hear that click. And I can practice along with, with it. Now if I want to record that, I need to have it record armed, so I hear sound. I'll press the record button so that it's arming the whole session for recording. And then I'm going to click play. When I click play, it's going to give me a two bar count off because that's what I have set right here. A one, two, ready, go. And then I'm going to click stop. So uh, as you can hear, I made a few mistakes. Oh no, terrible. Do I have to redo it? No, I can fix it in the mix. Remember in one of the earlier videos, I told you if the yellow A to Z keyboard focus button is on, you have extra shortcuts. So I'm pressing T to zoom in and I can see my MIDI notes. Uh, if I double click on that MIDI clip, the MIDI editor opens. And here I can adjust these notes. So I can manually adjust them, right? That little note right there, that was a mistake. I'm just going to click it and choose delete. And I'm going to delete that note so I can stretch this guy out. I can also quantize these. So I'm going to lasso all of them. I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to the event menu. Event Operations, Quantize. That seems complicated, but it's not once you get used to it. We'll talk more about quantizing in a later video, but for now, I'm going to quantize these to the quarter note. I want to quantize the note on and the note off. Boom, there we go. Down here, the velocity stems tell me how hard or soft I'm hitting the note. This one sticks out to me, so I'm actually gonna take that and drag it down so it's more even with the others. And then I can play it from here or I can exit this window and look at it in the edit window again. I can mute my click. I don't need it anymore. Now let's say, okay, I like that, uh, but I don't want that sound. Um, I don't even want that plug-in, okay? You can go to this dot and go down to instrument and change instruments entirely. Let's try expand. It's a really good one. And every instrument that comes with Pro Tools has this preset library. I'm going to click on that and go to one of the many, many presets. Let's go to strings, drama strings, whatever that is. And... Notice I haven't changed the notes. The track still says organ, the clip still says organ, but now it's playing with expand and the MIDI routing has changed to expand. So let's listen to it now. It's kind of a weird one, huh? Let's try another preset. Let's go to vocals, female, eh, choir. Eh, it's a choir. Okay.
That sounds great. Um, I'll throw another fancy plugin on here that uh, you will have. And, you know, I'm not going to go over this, but you can just kind of watch what I'm doing, experiment with it. I just dig that. I love Filtergate. So uh, that is how you load an instrument and how to change an instrument, a little bit about MIDI routing, and how to add an effect after the plugin for enhanced benefit.